I'm Katie Mae Lauman. I'm a science integrator with Ian. Submerged aquatic vegetation, or SAV, refers to vascular plants that grow in fresh, brackish, and salt waters around the world. SAV can tolerate a variety of climates, from waters off of tropical islands to living under Arctic sea ice, and of course, inhabit the brackish waters of the Chesapeake Bay. SAV are incredibly biodiverse with over 500 species, and they closely resemble terrestrial grasses, which is why saltwater species are called sea grasses and Chesapeake Bay species are frequently referred to as bay grasses. SAV are often confused with algae or seaweed, but they evolved from plants and they belong to the plant kingdom. Many factors related to habitat influence the distribution and survival of SAV, and I'll go through just a few of them. Like all plants, SAV need light in order to carry out photosynthesis, which is the process by which they produce the energy that they need to grow and survive. And among plants, SAV have some of the highest light requirements, and for this reason, they're usually found in shallow, clear waters. Salinity is also extremely important to SAV and influences their distribution, as can be seen in the Chesapeake Bay. For example, only eelgrass and widgeon grass live in the highly saline or polyhaline waters of the lower bay, whereas species that require lower salinity waters live in the oligohaline or mesohaline upper and middle portions of the bay. Widgeon grass has a wide salinity tolerance and can be found throughout the bay. Temperature is extremely important to SAV, and many species require warm temperatures in order for seeds to germinate and to grow. Substrate also influences SAV growth. Some species need sandy substrates, while others prefer muddy or silty. A variety of physical and chemical factors, including turbulence and nutrient content of the water, impacts SAV growth. And overall, water quality is extremely important. SAV are susceptible to declining water quality because they're rooted and can't move away when water quality declines. In addition to roots, SAV have rhizomes, which are horizontally growing underground stems that aid roots in the absorption of nutrients and in anchoring the plant. Veins and vessels make up the vascular system of the plant which transports nutrients and water throughout. Leaves are supported by stems, and leaves contain photosynthetic pigments like chlorophyll. And flowers growing on stalks make up the reproductive system of SAV. And in some species, stalks may grow above the water. SAV are extremely important. They sequester carbon, stabilize sediments, and provide food and homes for many different species. And despite their importance, they're under threat worldwide. One of the biggest threats to SAV in the Chesapeake Bay is runoff, which introduces nutrients into the water and reduces water quality. Restoration efforts are ongoing and have been incredibly successful, and the data you collect will help aid in these efforts.